Welcome to your weekly general aviation news update. We have three stories for you this week. The first one is the Dassault Falcon 6X gets certification. We have a robotic pilot. And then lastly, a pilot in Canada fled an accident and it's kind of a crazy story. So let's get to it. Your first story this week is the Dassault uh, Falcon 6X, which uh, got FAA certification after two years of test program and 1,500 hours of uh, flight time. Uh, the uh, 6X has a 5,500 nautical mile range, carries between 12 and 16 passengers, and cruises at uh, 0.9 Mach, which is uh, 690 miles per hour. Now, it comes standard with the Falcon I system, which allows the pilot to see through haze, fog, and smoke using an array of different cameras cameras mounted in the nose of the aircraft. Uh, the Falcon Eye is going to outline other features in the heads-up display to allow the pilot to see the ground in times of low visibility, which is extremely, extremely cool. Uh, the airplane weights uh, 77,000 pounds at max takeoff. It's 85 feet wide and 84 feet long, not a small aircraft. The uh, takeoff distance is 5,400 feet, and then it has a uh, two Pratt & Whitney Canada PW812 D, uh, which provide 13,500 pounds of thrust. Uh, pretty cool aircraft. You think about the price tag, $53 million. Uh, I say it better be cool in this case. The second story this week is development coming out of Korea. Uh, they have this thing called a PiBot, which is a, an autonomous flight system that operates in place of the pilot. Now, literally, it sits in the pilot seat. It is a robot that can actually fly the aircraft without any modifications to the flight deck. And uh, instead, it manipulates the flight control using arms very much like a human. Now, the PiBot is uh, AI-based. It, uh, it's using taught information, and it also has information stored in memory, uh, including the full library of uh, Jepson's charts and I think also uh, navigation charts. Uh, the robot using, uses a number of cameras that are mounted inside and outside the flight deck, uh, along with the AI system in order to fly the airplane as a real human would. Uh, still not sold on the idea, but I think it's an interesting approach, quite frankly, to uh, instead of using integrated system inside the aircraft, they actually put a robot in there that kind of looks like a human and uh, supposedly acts like a human. Uh, it can also actually switch aircraft. Uh, you simply need to be uh, told which aircraft type it is, and then PiBot is going to do the rest. Uh, pretty cool, pretty crazy uh, that we're getting to the point where uh, robot and AI are able to fly airplanes. Uh, just would like to see what it does in an emergency. I think that's what a lot of people are going to be commenting. All right, next up is your Don't Be That Guy segment of the week coming out of Florida. Nah, just kidding. This time it's actually in Canada, uh, which is hard to believe, but uh, R-44 pilot crashed and then fled the scene. Uh, you heard that right. The uh, pilot hit a power line, crashing the R-44 and then injuring three passengers along the way. Uh, the pilot then fled the scene, leaving the passengers who were found by emergency personnel at a later time. Uh, the three passengers were transported to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Uh, there's apparently, this is apparently not the first time that this helicopter has been flown in a reckless manner. Uh, numerous witnesses came up and said they were showing images and videos of the pilot and the helicopter flying low over farmland and forest. And then one image even showed it uh, uh, right before the crash, about an hour before the crash, uh, showing the aircraft landing uh, on top of a hydroelectric dam. Now, even more interesting, the aircraft appears to be unregistered, and then the latest registration was a US-based registration. Uh, the N number was canceled last month when the R44 was sold, and uh, well, I don't think they've found it as uh, of the time we were recording this, so we'll keep you posted if we hear more, but um, as always, don't be that guy. All right, that's it. That's all I have. Uh, we'll see you next week. As always, like, subscribe, and have a great weekend.